Keeping up with Kia P, and I am your girl Kia P, aka Kia the Crafter. So, today we got another resin project coming to you today, and it's a little different. You've seen it before, but I have not, I don't think I've done it um, on this channel maybe once, but so we're gonna do it a little different today, okay? So, before we get started, as always, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below, okay? Hit the thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up, okay? And the notification bell so that you can be notified when we upload new content um, to the channel, okay? And thank you so much uh, for all the subscribers, all of you that are out there, my crafty crafters. What up, guys? How are you guys doing? Yes. So we are back with another project today, okay? I'm going to take you down, okay? So you can see what we're about to do. And here we go. Yes, all righty. So today we're going to be doing this vanity, kind of like a geo tray mold, but I want to do it a little different and add lights to it, which is very difficult, guys. Like these fairy lights, it took forever. And I'm being real careful to get them to lay down in here flat. Um, so I'm being real careful not to bother it so that it um, can just kind of stay in here stay down I'm going to put just a smidgen of hot glue right there just to try to hold that down and hopefully um, it won't cause a big issue underneath the bottom but I need that to just kind of stay right there but this took me a minute to get the fairy lights to lay down flat if you got another method that is you a hey, please let me know i have eight ounces of resin this mold takes more than eight ounces but we're going to pour the first layer of it to get the lights um sealed in here okay and so i have my very favorite america's best as always america's best um resin up here in eight ounces this is going to be our first pour i will be separating this into i kind of just want to do a she likes bling this is a tray that i have to do for someone because i did a different tray for them that was not a resin tray and it got messed up in shipping and i'm no longer doing those trays um because the shipping is horrible and that's yeah that's like the second one that's got messed up in shipping so um i'm just offering the resin trays at this point and so it was a bling tray it had moving parts it was really really nice so i'm trying to create something real blingy and sparkly and pretty for her she likes sparkle she likes bling so we're going to make sure we bling this out as much as possible so her colors are black bling and silver and so what i want to do is i want to make this tray majority of it black the majority of it i want it to be black and then silver running through it and in the black i think i want to put um some silver flakes And I forgot to pour that little bit of resin and it's just sitting there getting hard, but that's okay. We'll get it out. I'm going to do silver, a little bit of silver, silver glitter. I want to do a black and silver, flat, yeah, black and silver flakes. So I'm going to put just a little bit of black, um, acrylic paint in here and swirl that in there really good I don't want it to be solid 
So I'm only going to swirl it a little bit, just enough to get the color in there. I don't want it to be opaque. I want it to be kind of see-through-ish so that you can see the, um, the lights when we turn the lights on. And so I'm going to add some silver foil to it. To this black, I'm going to add some silver foil. And if y'all work with foil, y'all know this stuff get all over the place. It is gorgeous. It's pretty. But it gets all over the place. I am looking for my tweezers. There they go. So I'm already... As soon as I open it up, I got pieces coming out. And the good thing about it is it breaks up as you put it in there. So if you get a big piece, you can kind of um, break it up with the spatula as you are um, stirring it. But you still want to kind of be mindful not to put too big, big of a chunk uh, of it in there at one time. Um, I do want a lot of it in here, so like I got this real big old chunk right here. I'm trying to stay away from that falling in there and just kind of go around it. I'll have to go back in it later and um, separate it. All right, so we have our silver flakes in there. And we're just going to stir that in a little bit. Oh, my project is about to be done. And then I can go ahead and pop this one in. So that, that works out great. Okay, so we got that going. And then this, I'm going to add some silver paint. just to drop silver paint in there and some silver glitter. Add her some glitter in there because she's a blingy girl. So we want to make sure it has some glitter in there for her. And we're going to stir that up real good. And that just gives us a little contrast that's going to be going through the black. We got that stirred up. Now we can go ahead and start pouring our black. And see, that's what I wanted. I didn't want it to be, I guess, too dark. I just hope it, it covers these lights. And see, and I could take my little popsicle stick and um, pour right on. Now because the lights are, so this is the first time I'm doing this with lights. So this is, and I don't think I've seen anybody put lights in their um, little vanity trays, not this kind. So yeah, this might be the first. And now what I'm gonna do is because I, this is real, real thin, the black. Now I'm gonna make it darker. Just to give me that contrast of color and to give her that black that she likes too and I'm gonna add that in here just give it I don't want it to be too bold and make it super black all over but we want to make sure that we have enough in here to fill this mold up and to make this super dope Super pretty for her. I 
hate that the bling tray she waited a while before she opened it so yeah I guess it got messed up in transition but this is this is turning out to be real pretty already like I'm liking this and then the mold is pretty pretty full Lights are staying pretty, um, they're staying down for the most part. The test is going to come when I put it in that oven, so. But it is looking really, really pretty, guys. Like, I'm liking this. And I did have a little bit of this silver left, so we're going to go ahead and pour that right here in this little bitty, it's like a void right there. We're going to pour it in there. Now, I can see, like, some, some of the lights, but I'm not going to bother it. I'm just going to maybe let that maybe be like a little silver that's going through it I might put some decorative stuff or something over it I don't know but we're just gonna see how it turns out my first one so I, I don't know I don't know I like it but I would really like to camouflage um where these lights are so I don't know if I should um, do more black in there but I like this like it is right right now and so I mean it don't look bad with the with the cords and stuff running through it I just I don't know I'm kind of torn I don't really know how to feel about it um, per se Maybe like throw some of the foil um, over the little, I don't know, over the wire so that it's not so exposed. But leave, make sure that the light bulbs are out. I just want the lights to be able to show through and I hope that she like it. This is the first one. Um, I don't, it might be, end up being the only one depending on how it comes out because um, I just don't know I just don't know but so far so good I mean it's doable it's cute um, from what I'm from what I'm gathering So I got light, a light, a piece of the light moving that I need to need for it to stay. And this is what I was afraid of. I told y'all it, it was it's a booger trying to get this string of lights to stay in place or to lay flat. So I'm gonna see where it's gonna run to. Okay, that ain't too bad. We might be doing all right still. I'm just not gonna bother it. And if I have to come back over it with um, some more resin, 
to cover it, then that's what we'll do. Okay. But for the meanwhile, I mean, it, it, it looks it looks good. I like the tray. I, I just don't know about about um, this these lights and how that's going to to play out. It's like you would have to fill it all the way up with um, black in order to cover it. But I don't know. I think it's, it might be okay. Meanwhile, I'm going to clean up while the bubbles are rising to the top. I'm going to go ahead and start wiping everything down as we always do. out getting ready to clean it and while I'm doing that then the bubbles will rise to the top so that we can pop those and then you got time to go ahead and hit that subscribe button you know you still got time to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel I promise you won't be disappointed and another thing, like these sides are probably going to be covered with the, because um, I still got to pour the handles. So we'll just see how this how this plays out, if it comes together or, or not. If it comes together, good. If it don't, we learn. We have to find, either find another method or just can't offer this tray with lighting unless you um, attach it underneath the bottom put some feet on it attach them underneath the bottom of the tray that's always an option as well I'm trying to see if I can just do it this way and it turn out okay but you know we don't know yet okay so we have that completed I'm gonna go ahead and bust these bubbles in here Got my trusty torch here, and I'm just going over the resin, clear out the bubbles that have risen to the top. This mold is not full to the top, it's just one layer, and then we're going to come back and put another layer on top and see what that does, and then put her name in here and go from there. If I'm gonna, I don't want to do another because this is as good as I could get these lights in here. But we're gonna see how this come out. The rolling trays are a little bit easier because it has a lip and you can tuck the lights down around in there. But this particular tray, being that it doesn't have a lip, it's hard to get the lights to lay flat and to conceal the lights so and we're gonna let this sit until the oven is ready and then we'll put it in and let it cure and then we'll come back and see what we have. Come back and see what we have. This is nice. I like the color though. All right. So sit tight and we'll be back in a minute. Okay guys, and welcome back. Here is the resin tray that we did last that we did yeah, last night cuz it's been a whole night like yeah, had to go to work and everything. Um, but nevertheless, we are back. And so this is what we have. Okay, it do work with the lights. However, I have a void I have a void in it. 
So what I want to do is fill this little void here. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a little void because it wasn't enough, I guess, resin to all over. So I have another eight ounces that I'm stirring up right now. And we are going to color pour same method right on top and see what that gives us and see what they give us. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, guys. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And then we're gonna put this back in the oven and that should give us what we need. Um, I did a did the black and I went back in with a dark darker black, so I'm gonna still do the same method that I did with this eight ounces. I'm gonna split it up and have that silver and glitter and then that black with uh, the foil in it. And we'll just try to mimic it as close as possible on the next layer. So I'm stirring up eight ounces. So far we've used eight, so this would be 16 right here. And hopefully we probably can do another four this mold takes a lot of resin. So we already done eight. We about to do eight more. That'll be 16 ounces. So I want to say roughly about 20 ounces total. Just to make sure you have a good pour and it's solid. So I'm stirring this up. And also, while I'm stirring, I want to go ahead and get get my handles too. Let me see something. I want to go ahead and get my handles prepared because we have to pour the handles for it as well. And so we want to make sure we have those poured. And I think I want to do I don't know. A solid white handle or a solid black. I think a solid black handle will be sufficient. It's late here in Texas. I'm located in Texas. So it's late. Well, not late, but late for me because I'm normally like when I don't have anything to do, be in the bed. But no, I am here working um, for my brand and for you guys, making sure that um, I create content to keep this channel moving, right? So now I'm going to separate it into those colors. And then that, that's going to be our silver. I'm just going to do silver. And then I'm going to do a little bit of black and swirl it and pour it. And then come back with the darker black. Just like we did yesterday. And, and pour that. So we're going to put the silver in here. And I'm using acrylic paint. Okay, so I'm first I'm going to take the black and I'm just going to swirl it in. I don't want it to be too mixed. Because I want it to be kind of transparent just a little bit and then I'm gonna swirl up the silver and then once I pour a little bit of that black I'm gonna come back and pour 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 darker a more uh, opaque black. Uh -uh. Okay. 
always trying to keep from making a mess. Always keep some paper towels handy. Okay, so I'm gonna come in with our silver right over those same areas that we had it before. Just kind of mimicking that same same effect. So we had like the clear kind of transparent black there. And then I'm gonna come back with the dark black with the more opaque black. Make it just a little bit darker. Put our flakes in there. And then we're gonna pop it back in that in the oven. And I'm trying to move this big piece out the way and just kind of give me some flakes up in there break it up a little bit okay that should be that should be enough and we're gonna start at start it down in there get it in there it's gonna break up and hopefully it'll be dark enough to cover up cover up the lights on the end part That's looking good. That's looking a lot better. Even the silver is um, kind of dark enough to cover. So that's good. That's kind of what I wanted. That's kind of what I wanted. can't really see the uh, the the fairy light stream but you can see the lights that's what I wanted it to be you might can see it you know a couple places but that's okay as long as you it is covered for the most part and it is. I love it. 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 It came out okay. I was a little worried that it was that the lights wouldn't stay down. It took me at least about a good 20 minutes to get these lights to lay flat. So you're gonna have to work with it. But the finished product, I think it's worth it. smile on the customer's face it's going to make it worth it so now while that's sitting I'm going to clean up I'm going to check it one more time but I think we got to go guys I think we got to go I just want to make sure that the lights is showing up yep it is it's showing In spite of that second layer that we put on there, and that, that came out good. So, we're going to clean up, and then I still have enough room 
So, like I said, probably about four more ounces to pour the um, to pour the the top layer on it, which is going to be about four ounces. I want to say it's going to be about four to six more ounces. This this tray takes a lot of resin. It's big. It's big. But anything for the customer. So I think I would normally sell like this big tray would be with lights would be all of 60 bucks 60 to 65 dollars it would be what i would be asking um hands down with lights i sell the round trays for um 30 to 35 to 40 the rolling ones with lights just depending on um you know where i'm at if it's a pop-up you might can get one for 40 35 40 bucks just depends but these will be going all of 55 to 60 depending on customization and whatnot so if it's custom it's gonna be like I charge 55 for the rolling trays at custom so you can turn your art into some money if it's original. And I'm just wiping down. And while I'm wiping down, it is allowing the bubbles to come up. So I can go ahead and bust those real quick. And then I'm going to pop it back into my resin heater. My resin oven. And in about 90 minutes, we're going to be nice and solid. And then I can move on to the next step, which I probably will not do tonight. But I wanted to at least keep the videos moving forward. And it should be finished by tomorrow, if not tonight. One more minute to be right And I try to reuse my, um, my popsicle sticks if I can. Wipe them down and reuse them until they break. Or, or they get weak. And so these gloves, I'm gonna pull because they're not torn and I can reuse them. They're not too good, too damaged. Okay, man, I got my trusty torch. I'm gonna go ahead and torch. Get all the bubbles out. These big pieces of foil, I'm going to try to break them down so that when I pour my top layer, it'll sit. That I, I won't have anything uh, sitting on top or sticking up. It'll be nice, solid. Nice and solid. But this is nice. So that second coat kind of gave me a little bit more, a better feel about it. Because I was skeptical at first. I don't like seeing the wire. So let me let, let my little four little baby in. are coming out real good. And this is like a torch, little torch that you get from, I got this from um, Academy Sports for like four bucks. It's a small torch, it's refillable. So, 
yeah I haven't refilled it yet so I'm gonna see how that works because they say refillable but I used my other one till I couldn't use it no more it just went completely just stopped working but this one do a good job for the price okay so now just gonna take my popsicle stick and I'm gonna break like I said break some of these bigger pieces down so that they're not sitting up so high on the mold I'm gonna make sure that's kind of blended right there and remember that's where that void was so we want to make sure that that area is full but it looks really, really good. Okay, we're good to go. And I'm gonna torch it one more time. Go over it. And we're gonna pop it in the oven. All right, so stay tuned. I'm gonna come back and show you the next step, okay? All right, guys, and we are back with our Geo Mold uh, vanity tray, and it is completely hard. It's been sitting for a minute, so I've wiped it down with alcohol, and I did come back and do an additional pour. I, I don't know if I filmed it, but I came back and did an additional pour, um, and if I did, great. So now what we're going to do is add our wording to it, which, um, again, this is for a customer. So we're gonna um, add the wording to it. I wanna make sure I'm in the in right in the center of the lights. So I'm gonna turn the lights on just so I can make sure I'm not covering up any of the lights. And we wanna put it in the center of her tray. Kinda down a little bit because we have mist coming on there too. And I printed this out. It may be backwards to you guys because I'm using my front facing camera and I did not flip the camera so that it will be but at the end you will see the complete project I promise so I'm gonna go ahead and take and then um, I will try to do a Cricut tutorial I think I have a Cricut video on my one of my uh, videos of how I do it in Cricut so if you want to know how my words and letters and things are being cut on a die cutter I cut it on a Cricut Joy you can check my channel for that video and it's going to show you step by step how to design your letters and design space in Cricut okay so check out that video I may try to leave the link below if I can figure out how to do that but yeah, so we have her, her last name is Sawyer. So I put Miss Sawyer as her wording. And she wanted it to be, I mean, she liked bling, so I did it in a silver glitter. And that looks so pretty. That looks really, really pretty. And so next, what we're going to do is go ahead and put our handles in here when we do our pour. I poured these already in black. You, I figure you didn't need to see me pour them, but what happened is I had to file I had to file the little debris off and so what we're gonna do with that I'm gonna uh, fill it with resin I'm gonna just take my brush and brush some resin on there once I get it put in the um, in the tray and so I have the lights on because I want to make sure that my handles is not covering any of the lights once I um, do fill it with the last coat of resin so this will be our last coat we've already did 16 ounces total i do believe eight yeah 16 ounces i believe eight and eight 16 and so we're going to go ahead and pour 
I want to say probably another eight ounces maybe you might can get away with six but I just want to be for sure and I'm gonna pour eight I have some extra projects if I don't really need the eight but we're gonna pour eight ounces real quick okay we are using again as always our America's best resin I love it it's my favorite it is my absolute go-to so I'll leave the link to it below I think it's always included in my um, links in my bio in the description box I always include America's best I don't know if the website is there but I will make sure try to remember to put the website in this video and go back and do the other ones as well I'm always trying to figure out ways to improve the channel so if you have any suggestions I'll take those as well so we're gonna go ahead and mix up this eight ounces real quick and then we're gonna pour it this is our final layer we have made it guys and then after that she will be pretty much all set all we have to do is um, finish it up put the little details on it and um, put the feet I'm gonna put some feet underneath it just so that it sits up a little bit it's not just sitting flush on the table so I'm gonna use um, and I'm gonna show you guys all of that so if you want to try this um, you will know how it looks it is absolutely gorgeous with the lights I've never seen it done with the lights in here these are the fairy lights that is on a silver string um, again you want to make sure that your color if you're gonna color make sure that your color will cover the lights I put them in my first layer so if I needed to go back and redo them I mean and cover them which I did um, I had room enough to do that in the mode um, you still can see the wire just a little bit in certain places but it don't look bad and I'll show you um, the completed project but it don't look bad at all it looks really good and with the color being silver gray and black and, and all of that it blends in really really well so just make sure that your color is covering your uh, wire on the lights um, it's gonna take you a minute to get the lights to lay flat but it's worth it I think you know to create something beautiful and something different you just have to take your time and then you might get it to where it don't take you as much as it took me it took me a minute I almost gave up but I'm a, have a you know big determination so I made it through push through right keep it going and we always learn with the very first one what we can do how to improve it for the second third and so forth so I'm just stirring this up. I think we almost there. I think we almost there. I want to make sure I get it mixed up pretty good. Scraping the sides and just mixing. My next project, I got a couple of things I'm going to try. I got a lot of, a few little new things coming. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. I is so, I'm so grateful for everyone who have subscribed, who comment, who ask questions, who just say it's beautiful. Thank you so much to each and every one of you guys. I appreciate it. Okay, I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. It's clear. And sometimes you will want the resin to sit to let some of the bubbles come up. And this is an awesome resin to do that. But due to timing, we're going to go ahead and keep it moving. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this 8 ounces in here. Making sure I'm getting around the edges and up in the middle I'm 
this is a the largest mold for that's they have one this size which is a large and then they got one that's a little bit smaller than this one and I, I'm assuming it don't take this is so far taking 21 ounces of resin which is a big pour that is considered a big pour but they turn out so pretty and America's Best just makes it affordable for you to do these big projects because if you just take your time you can also do deep pours with regular resin you just can't do it all at one time um, they have resin that's for deep pours but if you want to do a deep pour without having it explode on you you have to pour it a little at a time and let it cure that's the only way it's going to work so I'm going to go ahead and wipe wipe my cup out while I'm giving the bubbles time enough to sit up and then we're going to come in hit it with the fire put our um, our handles in and then I'm just going to take my brush and brush those that area that it's white to kind of give it the shininess back I'm waiting on a debris tool a de the debris tool to come in I've ordered it um, I've seen it I want to see how it works I'm sure I could have got one at Lowe's or somewhere um, I just didn't check I didn't even think about it until I seen it um, on a clip on my YouTube I'm on Facebook chat page and so um yeah I went ahead and ordered it so I'm waiting on that to come because it makes it it posed to help you where you don't have to um use the a sanding machine or um anything like that or sandpaper to sand the debris the edges when they're sharp when you pull them from the mold you have sharp edges and you have to sand it and it leaves this little funky looking unfinished I hate that um, I've noticed like sometimes if I take my brush and brush it it'll go back um, like it's supposed to so we gonna try to try to do that here in a moment and then I just use them and um, use my brushes and soak them in acrylic to get them back to where they're usable again. They'll never be back soft, but they're usable. This is so cute, guys. I like it. Now what I'm doing is I'm knocking some of these bubbles out. And I have my resin heater going. It's warming up so that we can go ahead and pop this in there not the regular oven it's a resin heater I have a also have a YouTube on that one so you can check that out if you're interested in what it is okay I think I put all of the description stuff for that in there too I believe that that video is up if not I might have to do another one but usually when I get new tools and stuff I try to share that with you guys okay so what I am noticing and I'm just gonna go over it with my skewer is like certain areas with my letters so I want to make sure my letters is on point so we, I'm just making sure that they is as smooth as possible and it's okay because the resin is still wet it ain't cured yet and that's you still got time to make it perfect so I'm just taking my letters and making sure that they're smooth and absorbed or whatever it is that I'm seeing I don't want to see it and that, that tend to have help okay yeah because um, I don't I didn't like that look just taking the resin over it because I was seeing something all right 
right that looks good much better much better now honestly i probably could have did 10 ounces because it's still not full i got just a little bit like where i could have poured another 10 ounces or so so some of these letters so they don't look funky or nothing but they look they look all right all right now and go back over it clearing out any bubbles I may have missed all right now the fun part. Now I'm going to turn my lights on so I can see where I want to position the handles. And so, and I want to position them out and straight and even. covering up any of the lights the name is is shining it looks nice and even and so now I'm gonna take my little brush take just a little bit of the resin and I'm gonna do a little test area first let me see where I can see real good if it's going to make a difference if I just need a little bit Yeah, and so I'm just going to take the resin over the areas where I filed real gentle. what that do is that just cleans up that area where you file that so that it don't look it looks finished and polished and you can't even tell then I'm gonna come back and line it with some stones or something in the handle and just you know it's gonna be dope shiny she'll have her bling in there She'll have the bling that she wants and then the nice size tray. So, hopefully it'll be a satisfied customer. And that's all we do. Yeah, that came out real, I'm real, I'm real impressed. That's just what we needed. It worked perfect. And you wanna use a small brush so that you can get and any little crevice because it might be some crevices there a little small teeny tiny they call it pin bubbles they real small and you only see them or or you can't see them but you can feel them that looks good you always got to be in the videos come on 
barbecue. Mm. And then I'm going to look at it from this angle and I've seen some things. So we're going to make sure we clean it up. Clean the handle up real nice. From when we filed. Position it back because it moves. And I like to secure mines in the resin so that I know that it's not coming apart. Some people may um, just, um, what is it called, UV resin theirs down. I like to put, to cure it in there when it's curing so it's kind of permanent the only thing with that is making sure that they're in a position and you have to check on it so what i'll do is probably leave it sitting out for a minute and then after a couple of hours after it has gotten you know a little cured pop it in the oven Pop it in the resin heater. I have to make sure I'm saying it, saying the right thing. Because we have people watching, and we love that you are. I just don't want anybody to get confused. I had a had a little person ask me, um, "Is it a real oven?" And I had to explain. So I, I was mindful that I have to be careful of how I explain things. I don't want to be misleading or have you, but that would be dope if you could put it in the oven, in your regular oven, and um, yeah, and it cures faster. Totally worth the investment. Okay, we're almost done, guys, with this part, and so I'm going to finish this up. It's looking really, really good. Okay. I'm just coming from all angles. some stones on here for her all right and that looks pretty good so what I'm gonna do is position it one last time press down so it'll stay and then this one same thing position press down so that it'll stay make sure we're even I can get it to just quit sliding, but you get the concept, okay? So hold tight, and I'll show you the finished product. All right, we are back with our um, Geo Mode tray that we created to light up, and it works very well. So we're gonna demold it. We got the handles in here, 
I'm gonna go ahead and demold it. Oh, this is nice and thick. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Nice consistency. My handles probably need to be cured just a little bit. Maybe one more time, but they're in there because they're, they're moving. Just a smidgen. And it's been sitting for a couple of days, so they should not be doing that. I was waiting for my debris tool to come back, but it ain't came. So that's the tray. We're going to go ahead and secure the um, light underneath it. Trying to see where I want to put it. And we're going to put some feet on the bottom. I want to use these or not? How they look? No, they might look all right. No, I'm gonna use the bigger ones. So we're gonna use the clear, our clear gems here, flat side down. One in the middle. Five total, and that's just gonna give it a little leverage, a little height on it. And then we're gonna use our um, UV resin glue for this particular part and glue the feet on. So I gotta find a little port for me. Give me one second. All right, so we are ready to go. We got our resin glue, uh, resin, UV, red, UV ray resin. And we're gonna go ahead and attach these little feet to the bottom I'm gonna put a little bit a little dab on there and just drop it down and I like to secure them as I go because they will slide and so I just secure it in place with the UV light and while that one's curing, I'll go ahead and put do the next one. Get it in place. Our little glass you can get these at the Dollar Tree a lot of people use them for different craft ideas so I use them for, for feet just to give it a little height as a tray I don't want it to sit too tall but I just want it to kind of sit off the table just in case something spills or anything like that now, as far as our light go, we are going to position this where it will stay. I think 
right there would be nice. And a little switch on the side. get this mailed out to its owner and it'll be all set so I'm gonna finish it up see that they, there's they're sticking nice and secure and I'll probably bring the light back over them one more time but that's pretty much it for this one and I'll show you the finished product okay Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, subscribe to my channel, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. To all the subscribers, you guys rock. You are everything. You are everything. There would not be a me at this point without you, so I appreciate you all. Thanks for watching. Make sure y'all catch that live on Sunday, October the 3rd, 2021. We'll come resin with me. We're going to be doing the uh, round clutch resin purse live right here on the YouTube channel, okay? So come back, spend a little time with me, and we're going to resin, resin that purse, okay? All right, so I'll show you the finished product once we all set. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you on the next one. All right, guys, and we are back with the finished tray. That's the geo tray. I'm trying to position my camera so you can see the whole thing. But that's it. We put some embellishments on the handle there. And it came out really, really beautiful. Real beautiful. Put some little feet on the bottom so it'll sit up on the table so it don't be flat. Right? And we also included the lights. So there's the lights. And it came out real nice. What I did was just glue the little pack underneath the bottom of the tray. That's why I put the feet on it so we'll have room and it'll sit nicely on the on the um, vanity or whatever she's going to put it. Came out real pretty. All right, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit, get the notification bell so that you can be notified when we upload new content, which we are always doing something on this channel. So go ahead and hit that notification bell, and I will see you on the next one.